standard, my man, that's called judgment. God says, correct your neighbor. Correct him. How can you correct your neighbor without judging them? How can you do that? If you have children, you know what you do to your children? You know what you do to your children? Hey, Rich, Rich, you got, you got children. You know what you do to your children? Say it again, sister. You teach them right from wrong. Guess what? That's called judging. When you tell your child, don't do that. That's wrong. Do this. Look both ways before you cross the street. If you don't, I'm going to beat your butt. You understand? That's judging your child. We supposed to judge each other. We supposed to show each other what's right and what's wrong. You understand? Guess what? If you don't judge in Portsmouth, if that, that's why there's so much killing out here. Because there's no judgment. We don't judge each other. We're not telling the little boy, hey, look, you don't need the glizzy. You don't need the glizzy. You understand? You know why, why you got a glizzy for? You don't need, you 15 years old. Who bought it for you? You can't even go to the store to buy it yourself. That man was supposed to tell that child, look, you don't need to be out here like that. You might get caught by the police and get locked up. Now you have a criminal record. And you're not going to be able to good, get a good job for the rest of your life. You're going to have to sell drugs. You understand? You're going to have to uh, 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 start your own business. You're going to have to take an alternative route. You're not gonna, you, no one's going to want to hire you if you have a felony on your record. That's love. That's right. We don't hear that today. That's love. That's foreign to us. Because our big brothers, they giving us the Glock. Our big brothers is buying us the SIG. Our big brothers is giving us the AK. They showing us how to shoot the shotgun. That's what our big brothers is doing today. That's called hatred. We need more judgment in our communities so we don't have so many killings in our communities. We need judgment out here. Come on. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. God says don't do that. Come on. Thy shall in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. But you know who we apply that to? You understand? We apply that to the so-called white man. We say, I can't have no hatred for the white man. That's why he's the safest person in your community. In your community, the white man is the safest person out here. Ain't nobody worried about him. You understand? Ain't nobody worried about the white man, but we worried about each other. You understand? We worried about each other. Read that again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Come on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. God says, rebuke thy neighbor. That means correct your brother. Judge your brother. Tell him, hey, bro, don't do that. If you do it, this might happen to you. I don't want to see you and your family in that situation. Amen. That's love. We need more of that out here. Amen. You understand? But because of our parents didn't do that for us, Amen. we don't know to do that to our children. We don't know that to do that to our friends. That's not our community. That's not, uh, uh, we don't, we're not a civilized people. The only thing that can make the black man civilized is this Bible. Because we have civil laws that teach us how to deal with one another. That's the only way. That's right. We need to be a civilized nation. All right? What's going to civilize us as a people? God's laws. God's laws will civilize us. You understand? But we rejected God's laws. And this is what you have. You have Portsmouth, Virginia. We in the worst area to live in Virginia. This is the worst place to be. You understand? How is the blackest place in Virginia the worst place to be? How is that? God says you're the greatest people on the earth. All right? But guess what? News just put out that Portsmouth, Virginia is the worst place to live, the most dangerous place to live, the most crime happens in Portsmouth, Virginia, of all the cities that you have in Virginia. I thought we was a holy people. All right, maybe maybe Portsmouth is full of white folk. Is this a Chinese neighborhood? Is this, this a Chinese neighborhood? You. Is it a Chinese neighborhood? Is, is it a white neighborhood, Portsmouth? It's a white neighborhood. What neighborhood is it? I can't hear you. What neighborhood is it? Is it a black neighborhood? Is it a white neighborhood? Is it, is, is it a, a Korean neighborhood? Is it a Jewish neighborhood? This is the Jewish neighborhood we live in right now. Is it a Jewish neighborhood? No, this is a black neighborhood. That's right. You understand? Bring it this out. This is a neighborhood full of Israelites. Right. A neighborhood full of God's holy people. Right. You understand? But the white man says that this is the worst place to be in the whole damn state. Bring it out. That's what the white man says. Why is that? What, and when he comes in, 
he feels safe. He comes in your neighborhood and he feels safe because you rejected God. And because of that, you're being punished for your sins. We all being punished together. Can't nobody escape it. Oprah Winfrey is being punished with you. You understand? She is not above her people. Neither am I, neither any of these brothers out here. We trying to uplift our people right. to get us out of this low estate. Bring it out. Come on. And my kids, the kids. Gotta and not suffer kids. sin upon him. We want to show each other what sin looks like. You understand? Go back to Amos 3. We want to show each other what sin looks like. That's what we supposed to be out here doing. Right? And teaching what? Our kids. Teaching our children. That's right. Thank you. Our right supposed to show our children what sin is. They telling me and we're supposed to show them by example. You understand? And they molested like them and all of that out here. You know why? Yesterday we was teaching in another neighborhood. And we pulled in and you know what we saw? We saw little girls. A group of them. It was probably 12, 15 girls outside. They seven, eight, nine years old twerking in the parking lot at the playground. Twerk, shaking their ass. Yeah. And it's niggas outside on the block. Wow. It's niggas outside on the stoop. It's sisters pushing the stroller like it's a normal day in the neighborhood. Yeah. That's not a normal way to live. Because what we got in our, and what we got in our families, pedophiles. Wow. Pedophiles. Wow. The Bible speak about all of that. Why? <laughs> because we have these things going on inside of our communities. You understand? We gotta tell the sisters, Cover your ass. Stop moving like that. Yeah. Sit your ass down. Yeah. You understand? That's what we got to tell these little girls what? so they can have some shame. You. Yeah, so they can be quiet. So they can learn to serve. Get them something to do. They outside shaking their ass. And you all right with it? What the hell is this? That's not how civilized people supposed to live. Right. That's not how we supposed to live. Bring it out. You understand? We look like a people that's been forsaken by God. Teach us. That's, that's what Portsmouth looked like. Right. That's why the white man says it's the worst place to live. Because little girls shaking their ass outside and ain't no men got the balls to tell them sit their ass down. Bring it out. You shouldn't be out here like that. Right. Come on. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Come on. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. The Lord spoke this against the black man. Impossible. Come on. Oh, children of Israel. You are an Israelite according to the Bible. That's what God says. You're not a black man. You're not a Negro. You're not an African American. You're not a Moor. You're not none of that bull. You're not none of that stuff. You understand? All those things were created to keep you confused, to keep you away from your true heritage. The only thing in this world that can uplift you. That's why you have those names, to keep you from identifying with your book. Right. That's the only reason you walk around with those names. Come on. Against the whole family which I brought up out of the land of Egypt, saying... What did God say to the black man that lives in Portsmouth now? Come on. You... Only have God I known. said you only, only the Israelites have I what? Have I known. God said he only knew you. He don't give a damn about none of, none of the other nations. Right. The God don't give a damn about the Chinese man. He don't give a damn about the Jewish man. God don't give a damn about the white man. He don't care about nobody but his people. But your pastors never told you this before. They never taught you this. Guess what, mama? You never taught your children this. You never told them this before. You understand? Bring you ain't teach your son this. All right? We got to teach our children this from their youth. From their youth. From their youth. You understand? We got to teach them from their youth. Survival. Very good. But guess what? A part of their survival is knowing their nationality. A part of their survival is knowing that they come, that Christ looks like them. That's a part of their survival. We out here dead because we see devil and everybody we look at, it look like us. You understand? So we treat each other just like a devil. You ever heard of demon time? You understand? That's between black people. White people ain't walking around talking about them on demon time. That shit, that don't exist with them. You understand? Yeah. Just, it does not exist. All right? So we got to teach our children this from their youth. Come on. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Come on. Therefore, I will punish you. I will what? I will punish you. I will what? I will punish you. God said that he is going to punish us. What does punishment look like for the black man? Yeah. What does it look like? Say it again. Yeah. It looked like death. That's why so many deaths out here. What else does it look like? Punishment. What does punishment look like for the black man? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 16. Yeah. I'm going to show you what punishment look like for the black man. Yeah. I'm going to read it in the Bible so you know what punishment look like for the black man. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 16. Come on. 
Cursed shall thy be in the city. Is the black man cursed in the city? Yes, he is. How do I know that? Because Portsmouth has the highest taxes of all the cities in Virginia. Why is that the highest taxes? Because the black man is cursed inside of Portsmouth. That's how you know that. This Bible is a true book. Wherever you find the Israelites, all right, you're going to find the most oppression. Wherever you find the Israelites, you're going to find the most crime. Wherever you find the Israelites, you're going to find the most sin. You understand? The most sin will be wherever the Israelites are. All right, come on. And cursed shall thy be in the field. Cursed shall thy be where? Cursed shall thy be in the field. Who was cursed in the field picking cotton? Sugar cane. Huh? Who was cursed in the fields picking cotton and sugar cane? We. We, who is we? Who is us? Black people, you understand? That's a curse that God put on his chosen people. The people that he called to be above everybody upon the face of the earth. Amen. That's a curse that God put upon those people. Amen. You understand? Who can say, is that the Jewish man? Is that the Chinese man? Is that the white man? Are they the ones that's cursed like we reading about right here? In the cotton fields, picking sugar cane and rubber and all of that? Getting their hands chopped off for not meeting their quarter for that day? Was that the white man getting their hands chopped off for not meeting the quarter? No, it was not. Jesus. This is a curse that was upon who? Upon our people. Come on. Curse shall thy, be, shall thy basket and thy stones. Who ain't got no money in the bank? Is it the Jewish man? Is it the Chinese man? Who ain't got no money inside their bank account? Us, black people. All these title loan places you see in the ghetto. Why they don't go put that in the suburbs? Bring it out. Why they don't put the title loan place inside the suburbs? Why they don't put it over there? Why are we the ones that got the... The check cash in place, cash advance. We need our money now. I can't wait till I get paid. You understand? I can't wait. That's called curse shall your bank be. Read that verse again. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. That means you ain't got no money. That means you gotta go borrow money from your enemies. That's what that means. That means you're gonna get charged interest that you can't afford to pay back because you ain't had the money in the first place. That's right. That's, that's called oppression. What people is being oppressed that way? More so than the so-called blacks and Spanish scattered across the whole damn earth. Which people? Which ones? All right? Guess what, black man in Portsmouth? You an Israelite, according to the Bible. You gotta repent if you wanna change your conditions or you will die just like all the other nations. That's Come on. Cut shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. So we are cursed people. That's what I'm trying to show you. All right, you got to repent from that. Come up out of that. All right, give me Isaiah. Chapter 42, is that what I want, 21? Give me Isaiah. All right, I think that's what I want. This what is you the, got? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 42 and verse 21. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. He will do what? Magnify the law and make it honorable. So what we're doing for you today is we're magnifying God's law. My brother, come over here. Come talk, bro. We're trying to magnify the law for you. Make it honorable so you can raise your children up the proper way. So you can learn different tips on how to keep your family safe. We out here because we love our people. We want to keep them from the death, the sure destruction that's coming from the black Messiah when he returns. That's, that's right. what we out here for. All right, come on. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness. Read the next verse. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. This is a people that did what? Robbed and spoiled. Our people, are we being robbed out here? When you go to the cash advance place, are you being robbed? Yes, you are. When you go to the city's deli, to buy some fried chicken? Are you being robbed? Yes, you are. You understand? Chicken shouldn't cost that much money. A, a, a can of soda shouldn't cost that much money. You think that's what they paying? And then they come back and sell it to you for the same price? No, they taxing your ass, you understand? We oppress robbed people. You understand? We need our own stores in our own community. That's right. Anytime you got another nation coming into your community, you think they coming to treat you fair? Bring or it they up. coming to rob you? That's Which right. one are they coming to do? They coming to rob you. That's Jesus. why they set up here. Why they don't go set up the chicken place in their own community? Right. Why they don't set up the lucky, the, why it's a lucky place in every hood? Every hood you see, it's a lucky gas station. It's a lucky deli store. It's a lucky corner store. It's a lucky shop. Why they don't put the lucky place in their neighborhood? Huh? The corner store that sell all the, the, the uh, what's the what's the chips called with the wrappers on them now? 
You know what I'm talking about? The, what is it called? The rap snacks. Why they don't put the rap snacks in their neighborhood? Why? When I go to the 7-Eleven in all the hood, I see the rap snacks. But then when I go, when I travel and I stop in a good area, I don't see no rap snacks in there. Why well, I see no rap snacks in their neighborhood? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.